It's episode four of Come Drag With Us and we've got three more queens about to cook up a storm. This is Come Drag With Us. Take 15 drag queens all competing to be our season one winner in the biggest cooking show that isn't the biggest cooking show on the planet. They'll have to slice, dice and chop their way to the crown. Whoever has the highest score at the end of the five weeks will be our winner. Whoever wins will receive a hundred pound in fake money and a lovely bottle of Kylie wine. It's not sponsored though, because I don't have a budget. It's a new week in Manchester and it's time to meet our first queen. She must ask you a question, but she'll shave it for when she reveals her menu. It's contestant number one, Ramona Love. Ramona Love is Manchester's self-proclaimed punk rock sensation. She has a lust for life, a passion for high-end cuisine and chlamydia. She has been described by close friends as being in the bottom set at life and she'll be serving a limited menu on account of the fact that she's terrified of any food that isn't pasta with butter due to her rampant autism. I bet you can't wait to see how this turns out, Ramona. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Okay, I literally just said that, Ramona, but moving on. Let's meet our next queen of this week's episode of Come Drag With Us. She's looking pretty stylish. It's contestant number two, Miss Kunst. Miss Kunst is not just what she sounds like. She's all about the art. She can give great dolly, ginger, and a burlesque kitty, all whilst belting out a ballad. The chameleon of drag, she can turn your hand to anything. You'll always be surprised and wondering what's next. And whatever it is, you know that she will slay. And I can't wait to see what she brings to this show. So cunts, are you ready for week four? Um, yeah, mine will be the best. I, I think my cheesy willies are gonna, well, cheesy phallus. <laughs> He's gonna go down well, because it always does, yeah. Well, oh, that's just lovely, cunts. Anyway, it's time to meet our final contestant of this episode. And did you know she's been on the telly? I know, I've never heard her talk about it either. It's contestant number three, Viola. From Coventry to Canal Street to Queen of the Universe, Viola is Manchester's sad little violin playing, emotionally unstable musical songstress. Viola's skills include battering sausages, marinating juices, and making the men in her life run away. As a former saleswoman of the medication Viagra, she knows how to perfect a stiff peak. How does she like her eggs? Fertilised! Viola's journey on Queen of the Universe went up in flames, but let's see if her kitchen does. Queen of the Universe! Sorry Viola, I had to. Are you ready Viola? I am so excited for my party. They're going to enjoy themselves a lot. That guy in Ratatouille said anybody can cook. I think that's a lie. Okay! Now that I've got all three contestants tracked down, it's time for night one. Up first, it's Miss Kunst and... Let's find out what Kunst's first dish is. Does she want to be the host? Um, it's her starter, a glass of red, accompanied by a glass of red. So what are we thinking, girls? Oh, get in! That's funny, that's funny. I like that. So two glasses of red wine, accompanied by a glass of red. Better be a Merlot, or a Rioja, or a Shiraz because I'm very much a red wine drinker, you see. And I can't fucking stand this stuff. I've gone for many tastings. I know what a good red tastes like. And if it's a five pound one from Spa, I will be giving her a two or a one. That's the spirit, girls. And for her main, it's cheesy phallus pasta. Do I have to say it? Cheesy. Chessy phallus pasta. I'm presuming that's meant to be cheesy. Cheesy phallus pasta. I think that means 
penis pasta. Now I've never been able to swallow. What's a phallus? No. <laughs> Red wine and cheesy nut pasta, and alcohol that I don't like, and cheesy nut pasta. Can't wait. This is my glass of red with a glass of red with a twist. I've got the beetroot here, and I've got the two cheeses. We've got the garlic, a bit of olive oil, and we're going to blitz it all up. Kunst gets underway with adding her four ingredients to the blender to make her glass of red starter. And you know what, Kunst? It's going pretty good. <laughs> There we go. Finally, we got there, and Kunz's is starters ready. What do you think? It'll do. <laughs> anyway, she gets underway with plating up her her lovely starter, and I think the guests are at the door. First up, it's Ramona. Go ahead, knock. Oh, wonder who that could be. Just told the audience it's Ramona. Come in, darling. Yes. What a gorgeous little humble Watch the shoes. Follow me. Surely will. We're both wearing red. That, that is happen? weird. Isn't that strange? Take a seat. Anyway, yeah. this one here for oh, you. Oh, thank you, my love. Yeah. I'll get my seat back. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's just a bit of a squeeze, you see. Oh. Next up, it's the Queen of the Universe, Viola. Queen of the Universe, Queen of the Universe. Let's see who this is. Well, cunts, you might know her from the show Queen of the Universe. Ah, uh, not today. <laughs> nah, come here. Who's your mommy? Oh, how's it going? It's all right, love. Mwah. 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 Let me show you through. Oh, nice. Ooh. She's in red as well. Is she? Yes, come on. This it's like we coordinated, isn't Ooh. it? Oh, hello, hello darling. I love. Oh, oh, I'm not going to get that far. I believe you're there at the back. Yeah, fabulous. Yeah. I will do. Uh, Pino or Campbell? It, um, it might be. Yeah. It's, it was at one point. It was at one point. It's yeah, it's gone down a bit now. Right, ladies, shall we begin? Yes. Let's, let's do begin. it. Let's La! And on that lovely note, it's time for Kunz's starter: a glass of red, accompanied by a glass of red. Ooh. This wasn't on the menu. Yes, it was a glass of red with a glass of red. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Hold on, there's some there's some Oh you know what? There's some crackers as well. Oh yeah. If you don't like it, it's fine. Okay, before I take a bite, girl, what is this? So it's beetroot. Okay. That's where the red comes from. Mm-hmm. With feta mm -hmm. and garlic. I don't know why this is served in a glass. I put it in a glass of red. It's not red, it's pink! Oh well. It's alright, isn't it? It's definitely got garlic in it. <laughs> you know what? I actually really like it. Good. I do have to say, the whole thing of it being in a glass, nice for the effect, mm. but I'm not really convinced on that's the best way to eat it. I like the cracker. I'm just mm. trying... Lovely cracker. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I got really thrown off when it came out of the fridge because I did think it was gonna be sweet and the savoury mm. taste. That's, that, yeah. yeah. I did feel a little bit frightening, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You've been on your toes. <laughs> the second glass. Cheer. Cheer. Eye contact. The red's lovely. The red. The glass yeah. of red with the glass. Of, not the glass of red. The glass of red that it's with. And we're all in red. <laughs> oh, we're all in red. Oh, God, I'm just amazing. <laughs> and it's Christmas. <laughs> and it's Christmas. Hey. And on that rather wholesome note, actually. It's about time Kunz makes her main. Pasta. Penises. Penis pasta. And I think the girls at the table should do a bit of bonding. Did you make this yourself? Oh, wow. Is this your favourite pink dish? Would oh, you like really? A, would, you, would you like a... Kunz gets underway with making her sauce and... Oh, um... What's happened here? Can oh, it's Pass it here. This isn't in the rules. Okay, yeah, more milk. Are you sure? Yeah. It's also a bit too hot at the minute. We just need to take it off the pan. Oh, I had it on no, stop, 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 stop. <gasps> That's literally all you need at this stage. Have you grated your cheese ready? Yeah, it's free grated cheese. Oh, yeah. Cheese. Grated cheese. Right, cheese. 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 Okay, this is all right. We're going to make it work. I think I'm warmer than that pan. Sauce. 
I don't know how to make a Bechamel sauce. And with that, her next dish is ready. For Kunst is main, it's cheesy phallus pasta. But before that, Kunst has a surprise for the girls. Right, we have a butler. Butler! <laughs> Give us a spin. <laughs> oh, ah! I think I'd like a bit more, but yes, please. These are brie and cranberry. Um, really? Yeah. Ooh. I'm not off the gun. Mm. They are veggies, mm. so. Okay, I'm going to take Let me just have a look inside. <laughs> yes, mm. yeah. Thank you, butler. You've gone a bit cold now. Yay! Oh. Oh. You know. That looks you know. pretty good. Pull a piece of pasta out and have a look. It's a willy! <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really good. It's creamy as fuck, boy. It's creamy as fuck. Mm. Um, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't think you would have achieved that creaminess if it wasn't for me. It wasn't for you. Yeah, because I d little do you guys know that not only did I stare, I actually gave verbal advice from behind the table. Mm. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Well, so far, ladies, I don't know, I can't speak for you, obviously, but we've actually had, like, a proper, like, nice, actual food, quality, you know, f food. And I'm going to be honest, I'm quite impressed. I didn't think it was going to be like this. And with that, it's the end of night one, and it's time for the all-important scores off Ramona and Viola. Love Miss Cunts, though I do. The starter was a little bit shit, and the main was edible. And so I'm gonna give her points for that. But it was lukewarm and not very good. So I am gonna give her. So I'm basing my score on quality of starter, quality of main, time management, and entertainment. So for that, I'm gonna give Miss Kunst a score of seven. However, I did have to help her out in the kitchen. So that's gonna go down to six. So at the end of night one, Kunst scores nine out of 20. And what the girls don't know is that this week, I'm not revealing my jury points until the end. Which means you'll have to wait and find out who this week's winner is. Sorry, cunts. It's night two in Manchester and our next host is star of Queen of the Universe, Viola. And for her main course, it's a tart from a tart tongue tart. Tongued tart, what's a tongued tart? Tongued, tongued, tongued. 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 Tongued tart. T I'm terrified. Terrified. Sounds awful. Don't want it. Tongued. That's not how you spell it. Not doing it. You've really thrown me with this tongued tart. I'm... Is it tongued? I need you to... T it's tongued. That's not how you spell it. Viola provided the spelling, not me. Sure. And for her dessert, it's pissy plastered poached pears. Pissy plastered poached pears. Well, it's an alliteration. Right. Poached pears sounds like food. I'm nervous about the piss and the plaster. I'm nervous about that one, actually. What Ramona did forget to mention to the audience is that she's actually deathly afraid of pears. But we'll get into that at the dinner party. Good afternoon. Welcome to Viola's kitchen. Here's something I prepared last night, honey. Spinach and goat's cheese tartlets with caramelised onion on puff pastry. What did I just call me? <laughs> Heat for 20 to 25 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Well, thank God the guests are 20 to 25 minutes away. I'm gonna prepare the salad. The thing about Rocket is that it's a very hard and stiff salad. So you need to give it some, you know, massaging, just a general, a general like, you know, just, just get out all the knots. Looking lovely, Viola. Smells fucking tasty. Then we're just gonna sprinkle with sunflower seed. But whilst we're here, we need to start poaching the pears for the dessert. Here's my pears. It's been poaching overnight. Peeled pears in a lovely red wine, cinnamon, allspice, and nutmeg sauce. And luckily for you viewers at home, those 20 to 25 minutes have passed incredibly quickly. And I think our first guest is at the door. Oh, 
I think she's here. Hi, darling. Hi. How's it come, coming? I'm coming I'm in. Coming. I'm coming in. How's it going? Flat. Flat. Right, right, come on, come swell. Come in. Ooh. This is my living room. Is that a melon? Uh, no, it's a pumpkin. It's just been Halloween. It's part of pumpkin. Ooh. Kazoo. Oh yeah, classic. If you didn't know, I played the kazoo. <laughs> Sit down. Do you want a baby? Yes, Let's have water. Fabulous. Yes. Squash. I've got squash. No, 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 no water. Good because water. it would mess up the colour scheme. <laughs> And last but not least, our final host of the week, Ramona. Are you gonna go in or...? Oh, I think there's somebody here. <laughs> Hi! Hi! I feel like I'm gonna get a hate crime. Sorry, my hearing's bad, you see. I couldn't hear you. Right, Ramona, this is Miss Cunts. Have you seen her before? Oh, hello! Hi! Hi. Okay. Let me get it. Oh, there we are. Mm. Wow. 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 You look gorgeous. Thank you, love. How come we're all wearing green? That's so cool. Oh, so my God. Crazy. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, don't they look gorgeous, hon? And while Viola finishes plating up her mane, the girls discuss the decor. This, this table's nice. Yeah, it's um, sturdy. Sturdy. Yeah. And this is a kazoo. Yeah, did you know she, she plays the kazoo? I knew she could sing and sew a dress, but yeah. I didn't know about playing the kazoo. Well, That's she new can do it me. all. She can do it all. Yeah. Mm. And with that, her first dish is ready. It's Viola's mane, a tart from a tart tongued tart. But first, a surprise. Ladies and Ramona, welcome to Viola's living room. Your dinner is served, honey. honey. <laughs> Bloody teat. Right. I wasn't expecting Cheers, ladies. To our Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, 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 we didn't cheer. Thank you. Yeah, because you have to do eye contact on the chair. Yeah. I'm actually really excited about this. Mm -hmm. That fucking banging. And this isn't caramelised onion from a pot, mate. This is a um, oh self caramelised. Self caramelised. It caramelises itself. Ramona, don't worry, you can just eat the salad if you want. Um, <laughs> And this is called salad. Eat yeah. that bit? Yeah, yeah. It's not just there for decoration. Oh, shit, right, okay. Mm. This is banging. It's so good. Mm. Thank you. I'm gonna try the salad. Much. I'm a competition queen, I didn't come to lose. Honestly, I know I'm not beating her on bullshit. That was fucking brilliant. No. Time for the pudding. She's kind of done half the job for me, but it's time for Viola's dessert. It's pissy plastered poached pears. Red wine poached <gasps> pears. Seasonal with some ice cream and a. Do you like pears, Ramona? I'm right. I'm gonna be real with you. I forgot that the word pear was mentioned, and I didn't clock in my little brain when I was reading the menu to be like, oh, I hate them with a passion. Basically, I uh, peeled the pears, mm -hmm. put them in a pan. <laughs> I put in some cinnamon, some allspice, some mm -hmm. nutmeg, um, and let it simmer for about an hour before we reach them. But it's been uh, marinating all night. Oh, you really put the, the mm. work into it, though. Mm. And with Ramona trying really hard not to chuck it all back up, we're nearly at the end of our second dinner party. So, how was it, ladies? Um, um, it was good, was, but yeah, there was. I don't know about you. I think there was a hair in mine. There was a hair in mine as well. I didn't want to say anything, but there was a hair in mine as well. Yeah, it yeah. tasted great. It though. was great. Yeah. but you might just want to hair net. Well, that was awkward. Anyway, in the words of the normal come drag with us, taxi! Absolutely cannot fault the main. It was absolutely delicious. Loved it. The dessert is where we started to have some problems because obviously it was pears, which I'm not a massive fan of. I have an entire wig in it. So I'm going to have to deduct some points for that. And overall, I'm going to give Viola a seven. So the main was amazing. It was great, really good, can't fault it. The dessert, the dessert was great. It was really, really good, but you know, we did encounter a slight hair problem and it wasn't just one, there were several hairs in there. Like, I don't know what happened in there. Was she shaving over the pot? Like, who knows, but like, whatever. I'm gonna give Viola 
a six. So at the end of her dinner party, Viola scores 13 out of 20. And as I'm not revealing my jury points until the end of the episode, we'll have to wait and see if she's going to snatch this week's crown. It's our final night in Manchester and our third host Ramona is jumping for joy. Oh, never mind. For starter, it's the Ramona. What's in the Ramona? The Ramona. The Ramona. So it's just her. Um, uh, I'm just trying to imagine what's in the Ramona and there's Ramona's pizza so maybe it's pizza. I've got absolutely no idea. To be fair, me neither cunts. And for her main course, it's an embassy signature served with a polo. A polo, so that's a mint. A polo mint. You are correct. Served with a polo. Okay, fresh Ooh. breath I guess, fresh breath, you know. What's an embassy signature? Oh, it's a fag. And speaking of fags, um... The drink that I'm making is specifically with grapefruit juice. I guess orange will have to do. Ramona heads back to their flat, ready to cook their food. For my starter, I thought that instead of doing like a normal boring starter, I'd make what I would want as a starter, which is alcohol. I don't have any official measuring units. What I'm using is this lovely tequila sombrero that comes with the bottle. Two sombreros of orange juice, one sombrero of cranberry juice, half a sombrero of lime juice, this of tequila. One of my favorite tequila based cocktails is the Paloma, which is various different ingredients that um, frankly are none of your business. Um, so I thought I'd do my own twist on that, which is the Ramona, which is what I'm making. Before I continue, just know that this is a very small cocktail shaker. I'm not gigantic. Ole, 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 indeed, Ramona. Shake it like a Polaroid picture, because that starter is looking scrumdiddly umptious. And don't you worry, Ramona's starter is not too far behind. It's not exactly the hardest dish to cook, is it, Ramona? And with the starter and main all ready, I think the guests are at the door. Up first, it's star of Queen of the Universe, Viola. Ooh. Hello, Mr. President. <laughs> You're right. Oh, mwah. Whoops, mwah. How are you, my love? I'm great. I'm fabulous. fabulous. Let's get you inside. Right, it's just okay. this way. Well, where am I sat? I'm just gonna sit you down here, my love. Yeah, gorgeous. Just the homophobic lighting is right there, and I don't really want to be in direct light of it. Lovely. <laughs> and our final guest of the week, Miss Kunst, is here. Hello. Hi. Come on in, hi gorgeous. Mm. Oh, surprise, yeah. surprise. You're right, babes. How's it going? Hang on a second. We're all wearing the same colour again? <gasps> How's this happened for a third time? A third time. It's almost yeah. like you planned it. I've got the starter ready. I'm going to go grab it for you right now. It's Ramona's starter. The Ramona? So, there is a wonderful tequila based cocktail called a Paloma. And I've done my own I spin love on Palomas. it. Called the Ramona. That's so this is the Ramona. Chin chin, ladies. Cheers. 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 I've slightly surprised myself, but can't lie to you. Ooh, it's, it's, it's really good. good. I'm lots actually going to pop the lime in there. There's lots of tequila, actually. Lime, yeah. You are really going to town. <laughs> now that we have lubricated our throats, we've cleansed our palates. Mm. Can we get you girls ready for the menu? And after she gives that plate a bit of TLC, it's time for her next course. For the main, it's an embassy signature served with a polo. It's time for our main lady. Yes. So what I've prepared for you is I have lovingly gone to Sainsbury's. Mm. Embassy signature. Oh, I've heard that name before. Gold. So can we just dig in? Tuck in. Oh. oh. Are you going to chew that? Right, I'm putting an end to this. Can we just smoke these? Um, I'll just, I'll have the mint. I'll just taste it. I'll have the mint like this. Lovely. I'm afraid I'm going to leave that for you because I'm not a smoker, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am going to pop out onto the balcony for a second mm. and catch some fresh air. Mm. You know, obviously I appreciate that it does look quite silly me smoking three cigarettes at once, but frankly, 
I lovingly prepared these. That was fucking bullshit. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I came here expecting a meal and we got a cocktail and a fucking cigarette and I don't smoke. Mate, I'm fucking starving. <laughs> I'm starving too. I'm starving. These people that think drag queens don't eat. I'm not gonna let good cigarettes go to waste, especially when they're so lovingly prepared. Oh, fuck me. And with that, it's the end of the third night and the end of Ramona's dinner party. Taxi! So, Ramona, you gave us booze, solely booze for the starter, which is perfect in my world. Um, so that's given you quite a few points, to be honest, yeah. Cigarettes for the next course? Mmm, I'm fucking starving, bitch. I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna give you, Ramona, a five. Ramona, I really enjoyed your evening, but I don't smoke, and also, you didn't provide literally any food. But the cocktail was good, so I'm gonna give you props for that, honey. So, my score is... A four. So after the girls' votes, Ramona joins Kunst with nine out of 20. However, I still haven't cast my jury votes. And before I do, I think it's about time that we find out our winner. And for one of these girls, this competition could just flip around. Ladies and Ramona, I can now reveal that the winner of Come Drag With Us Episode 4 is... Viola! Congrats, you're the winner with 22 Get out of 30. Get in, you little bitches! Oh my god, I won it. I did, I did what I came to do. I'm a competition queen and I came to win, babes. It's a bit uncalled for, really. It's all it's... With my jury points, I gave Kunst to 7, which brought her score to 16 out of 30. Viola received a 9, which brought her score to 22 out of 30. And Ramona received a 6, which brought her score to 15 out of 30. Meaning that Viola is the winner of episode 4. But let's do a roundup of where the season is so far. At the bottom of the season leaderboard is Ramona and Sniffy in 8th place with 15 points. Kunst is in 7th place with 16 points. And Cardi is in 6th place with 17 points. Moving up to the next tier, Peachy and Luga are in 5th place with 18. Summer is in 4th place with 19. And February is in 3rd place with 20. And as we reach the final week next week, Octavia is in third place with 20. Roger and Venom are tied in second place with 21. And Viola has 22 out of 30, which means she could potentially snatch the crown next week. <gasps> oh my God. We've got one week left. And next week, our final three queens are going to be competing to win the crown. And we'll find out who is our season one champion. I'll see you next week. Next week on Come Drag With Us, Rosie, Angel, Vil. The final three will go to war for the final time to win the crown. And as a twist ahead, I'd like to introduce one more queen to this race.